What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about the Black Armory. Does this expansion suck like I am seeing most people state all over social media? Today I give you guys my opinion on this matter, no shits given as per usual. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Black Armory, it's been out about 24 to 36 hours and I'm already seeing people absolutely tearing the expansion apart. I mean ruthless bastards. And well, to be honest, I get where they are coming from to a degree. But is there more to it people ain't seeing, over judging and well over expecting? I think they are. So the Black Armory is an expansion which will fully become available over the course of 3 months. It's an expansion which wasn't all drops at once, it's a progressive DLC which we will get new things each week to do. It's an expansion for the Forsaken DLC. What we have had so far is only a small portion of the Black Armory. We are getting more forges with gear attached, exotic quests, a raid. It's early days yet people. So people out there stating the DLC is pathetic because there is literally one thing to do. These are the people who will be complaining if the old DLC was dropped and they had done everything in a week. I expected what's happened to actually happen, people complaining at first, but give it a month and there will be much more to do people each week for damn sure. Because to be honest, didn't everybody else realise this wasn't going to be a story expansion, there was never going to be any new strikes, any new PvP maps, this is new end game. I got that message from Bungie a while back, I thought everybody else did too. Yes the forge is super hard, but isn't that the point? Do we want a walk in the park? I ain't sure. Also I am seeing people state they logged into Destiny 2 to play new content but found themselves doing the same old weekly shit and not being high enough to even do the forge etc etc. I understand where people are coming from here when they say they don't want to be doing old crap to play new crap. Yes I get that but for me it's the opposite. I actually now have reason to come on and do my weekly stuff because although I didn't hit 600 straight away when the Forsaken dropped I've still been at this power level for a while now so doing my weekly stuff was absolutely pointless and it has been for months, well what seems like months, even though I enjoyed doing it for the most part. Now I have reason to play the game and do my weekly shit. The thing is the way Destiny has been in the past and it's something most of us have complained about in the past and that was when new stuff was dropped like new DLCs and so forth, all the other stuff got left behind and became stale and nobody played it. People then complained Bungie should be doing stuff to bring these old activities back into the run so people had reason to play them. That's what Bungie have done here, you still have reason to play that older stuff while eventually being able to play new stuff. So yeah, I get the opinion on both sides here for sure, but I'm quite happy now that I actually have reason to do my normal weeklies. Now if we look at the roadmap, we see there are plenty of things still to come content wise. If we look at what's been data mined, again, so much to do and find. The Forge right now is very underwhelming, we all know this, it's too hard for most as a start, that alone pisses a lot of people off, but for the likes of me who is at a 6.15 now, I can kind of scrape myself through it, and it does feel seriously rewarding when you get it done. The point is though, you will have to farm that older stuff to get up to a light level, a power level, before you can even have an impact in the Forge, and that is what I see a lot of people complaining about, but like I just said, for me, it works. But in a few months when there are 3 or 4 of these forges and a new raid, a new event of dawning and loads of other things, there will be again too much to do. So yeah people as much as I see where people are coming from in terms of new content to do right now, yes there isn't much but this expansion is a season and it's spread out over that season, that season lasting 3 months just in time for the Joker's world, a whole new season. Now the things I do think a little bad are the facts that there are no new strikes, PvP maps, Gambit maps, Crucible Vanguard or Gambit gear. This is a little disappointing to me. I mean these should have been updated with the new season in my opinion. I don't think we've ever had a DLC where there's been no new PvP maps, no new PvP gear, Vanguard gear whatsoever. I mean it's just crazy. Also what I find pretty damn bad is the fact I don't believe there will be any new exotic armor pieces just five exotic weapons over the season. 
it's the first expansion I believe we have had to do this. So yeah, hopefully they look into this for the Joker's world and don't disappoint. But all in all, right now, if you log into Destiny 2, thinking you're gonna be playing new content with the Black Armory, that realistically ain't what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be playing the same old, same old. But like I said, this is a, an expansion over the course of a season. We will slowly be fed things to do, new things to do, week in, week out, which is kind of how I prefer things because if you dropped it all at once like I said earlier in the video we will complete everything in a week like with previous smaller expansions and then for the coming months there'll be nothing else to do so spreading out over a season of three months like what we see within the roadmap is the right thing to do in my opinion and if you guys don't agree on that that's fine let me know your opinion down below within that comment section people also if you are new around here let me state i'm normally the one who tears bungie apart when they fuck up i speak the truth it's the reason i am blacklisted from bungie events and you know what i don't give a fuck i will continue to speak the truth and today what i have said i believe is the truth yes it's hard to take but this expansion and what it's offering was made clear a while back I understand people expected more but more is to come that's for sure so i say let's leave it about a month or two before we start writing what do you think on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you enjoyed it leaving a like really does help out let me know your opinion on all of this down below in that comment section if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos like guides top fives gameplays reviews just about everything make sure you subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but again thanks for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one